Here are my two points. One, if you're buying. And number two, if you're selling. If you're not quite sure where to start. Thank you for doing a good job as always. And your analysis is spot on. Talk to Dan Jemis and his team. Find them at danjemis.com. And now, filling in for Dan Jemis, your host, Joyce Blackmere. Back to the show, everybody. I'm Joyce Blackmere, Director of Sales and Broker with the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. With me in studio today is uh, Kathy Talbot and Lisa Cipperoni, sales reps with the team. Hello, ladies. Hello again. Hello, hello. We're just actually, we're talking, um, we're having a very (laughs) fun conversation about what shows we should all be watching. If you haven't seen The Bear um, on Disney, oh, it's so good. I absolutely love that show. It was so fun. It was, it was a ride. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it was so good. We watched yeah. it in like, I don't know, three days. We just watched both seasons and just yeah. gone. Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. Same. Anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, back on topic. Um, actually, no, before we go on topic, I want to just share a quick story. So my daughter's boyfriend's at the house today, this morning, and he's uh, he comes upstairs and I'm like, hey, what are you doing today, Josh? And he's like, oh, I'm going for a run. And I'm like, before you go, do you want to help me? Do you want to do me a favor? I'm alluding <laughs> to the fact that like, hey, do you want to help me with something little? And he's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm like, perfect. Come downstairs. <laughs> I had him carry a, an old desk and an old table. Like, and they're solid. Like, like they were sturdy, heavy. right? Yeah. Um, upstairs, out to my curb, and then bring another, like, table f- downstairs and, and put it together <laughs> for me. Was it <laughs> Ikea amazing. furniture? What's that? It was <laughs> Ikea. Yeah, yeah. So that one was easy. But uh, I, the, I mean, was, like, putting it together. <laughs> no, no. It was good. And I just want to I just want to reference the fact that when Aaron and I do anything together that has to do with moving furniture, uh it turns into an argument. Always, <laughs> always. Josh and I did not fight. I just want to put that in there. We got it done. It was super easy and smooth. <laughs> and then I came here and I wasn't even in a bad mood, right? Good for you. Literally right before I left, I was like, hey, Josh, sorry, I got to go. You have fun with that table. Bye. Oh, my, God. oh my gosh. Anyhow, here we are. Um, so listen, the uh, Windsor Star released an article uh, a little bit. I, I don't know if it was last week or earlier this week. Um, about uh, Windsor being somewhat of a beacon of economic growth uh, right now, which is really positive is news. It ever uh, news in in you know in, in general in yeah. general compared to what we've been hearing, right? Uh, so you know, in a time when Canada is bracing for an economic slowdown, uh, Windsor emerges as a beacon of prosperity and growth, according to the Conference Board of Canada. Windsor is on track to add eleven thousand new jobs this year. This year. That's amazing. Uh, Surpassing pre-pandemic levels with increasing investment and declining uh, unemployment. Um, So there's some massive uh, projects that are fueling this growth. Uh, The major forces spurring the growth include projects like construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge, obviously. Have you guys seen? Have you been paying attention? That's amazing. I usually take the 401 from Manning, and I have been driving along the, you know. Like the water? Yeah, yeah, along the water. And it just, it just jumped out at me it does now maybe a few weeks ago and i was like what the heck is that (laughs) it's huge it looks really nice though yeah they're doing a beautiful job yep i love all the cables yeah well think think of the jobs right we had a client um actually in fact he was uh um at the time he was offered one of the top jobs for the like overseeing overseeing mm-hmm. the bridge he didn't end up taking the job but um he he was moving down to the windsor essex region and whatever so it was very cool to see people coming into the area and he was telling us about the number of people that would be coming in to uh help with I this project that, yeah. and moving in so yeah very very cool mm-hmm. um we also have the um energy uh battery plant as yes. well right oh, so yes. there's that um these investments have positioned windsor as an exceptional um and uh, sorry, as an exception to the anticipated uh, Canadian economic slowdown. And think about downtown too, right? Like even the smaller, smaller ish projects Like the Windsor campus, uh, the university has grown. They've done some beautiful uh, work to the, to the buildings uh, downtown, you know, even though people aren't like super excited, some people mm-hmm. aren't super excited about the, the rental pilot project. It's really cleaning things up. It's forcing a cleanup. I think that's incredible. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think it's amazing. 
Um, manufacturing and education um, are also on this list. Uh, most of the job growth in Windsor has come from the manufacturing and education industries. The city's rebound from COVID-19 included a 4.6% expansion to the economy, surpassing 2019 levels. The conference board expects Windsor's economy to grow, uh, continue growing by 2.2% percent uh, this year and another 1.8 percent next year oh, excellent. so yeah very very positive uh, news uh, investments in the automotive industry as well a key reason for Windsor's uh, growth is the new investment following the announcement of the five billion dollar Nexstar energy EV pl battery plant additionally Magna is expanding operations and investing six million in its Windsor Megatronics plant further boosting the automotive sector. Wow. Uh, construction and development, ongoing work on the bridge, the $50 million reconstruction of County Road 42, and construction of a 60 million University of Windsor residents mm. uh, will also enhance employment in the city's construction industry. Uh, these uh, developments align with the real estate opportunities in Windsor, reflecting a vibrant uh, and growing community. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, health, uh, let's see here. Sorry, I just got to scroll a bit. Healthcare, transportation, and housing, uh, housing growth. Uh, President and CEO of the Windsor Essex Regional, uh, Regional Chamber of Commerce uh, pointed out ongoing growth in healthcare, transportation, and housing sectors. Each new investment builds momentum for the next, creating a positive cycle of development. Uh, we truly do have a lot going on in the city though it's not one like it's not just one thing and we do have like obviously we have like the Chrysler plant that fueled us for a long time yep. but to see all these other little projects not so little projects yeah little kind big of projects. popping up yeah <laughs> and it's bringing a lot of like um we were looking at the list of job postings for just the battery plant just out of curiosity and there's a startling number of engineers and most engineers have jobs right so like right. you're they're high in demand so you're bringing people in to our area from other areas so we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of people coming this way and it's just going to create a very very vibrant city absolutely and we take mm -hmm. into consideration too the fact that yes prices have absolutely gone up considerably compared to what they were you know five years ago um, and more but um, we're still very very affordable in comparison to most areas of the of the province absolutely. Uh, so people are coming down here from the uh, GTA um, quite a, quite a bit actually I had a um, meeting with um, a networking group that we're a part of that literally uh, goes across the province and all the way up the 401 right to to the Sudbury Sudbury region um, we had a conversation about what's going on in each of our individual markets and Windsor seems to be a very very popular area for where people want to move or are looking at moving and would consider and take into consideration too like our proximity to the US and all of the trade That's huge. absolutely there's just there's so much goodness I'm very positive today <laughs> No, but it's, it's a lot. But of it's goodness. true. Yes. It is so true. the The proximity to the U.S. border is a huge selling factor. I'm sure. Yeah. For a lot of people, especially when they're coming in from out of town, right? They want to make sure that they have that uh, that extra boom for for yeah. their travel. So. Yep. Nice. So definitely some good things going on. Good things happening in the market. We're seeing it now. Things are. Uh, really humming along. Uh, so if you have questions about the market, you have questions about whether you should buy or sell or invest, uh, give us a call. The Dan Jemis Real Estate Team, you can reach us seven days a week at 519-566-5565. You can also find us online at danjemis.com. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we're going to tackle the fun question. If you could move anywhere in the world, uh, where would it be and why? Lots more to come here on the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show.